Hello, my name is Joel Day. Today we're going to be talking about computer-generated imagery, or CGI. Although technical in nature, this presentation will be geared towards those people who may not have a technical background. So first, let's go over a brief history of CGI. The very first CGI that was ever added to a film was in 1963 by a group of professors at Bell Labs. This team developed a computer program to render hundreds of different images of geometric shapes. These images were later converted to film and added to a motion picture. It wasn't until the 1980s that CGI became more commonplace. Because of the crude rendering algorithms and expensive computer hardware required to produce CGI, only large movie effects shops and universities could afford to create these types of images. With breakthroughs in the area of areas of memory storage, processor speed, and 3D transformation algorithms, CGI became increasingly cheaper to generate and therefore was more prevalent in society. By the beginning of the 1990s, computer hardware had advanced to the point that CGI was able to be generated on the personal computer. In 1995, the first full-length feature film created entirely of CGI was released. This movie was Disney and Pixar's Toy Story. Toy Story was such a success that it has been noted that with the release of Toy Story, the latest generation of animated feature films had arrived. After the benefits of CGI were generally realized, it began to expand into areas outside of TV and film. Some of the first areas to adopt CGI were physics and physics simulations, data presentations, and the medical field. Since the adoption of CGI into these areas, almost every aspect of life, from photography to browsing the web, depends on it. As you can tell, CGI has evolved over the years. So before we can talk about the technical aspects of CGI, there are a few basic terms and techniques that we need to go over. The first term we're going to be defining is modeling. This is the technique of creating CGI geometry. It is done by manipulating vertices, lines, and polygons. Next we have rendering. Rendering is once you have all of your geometry in your scene, you can switch to a camera view. From there, you can start changing the various colors of your geometry or how light affects your geometry. There are several other parameters that you can set, but once you have everything set specifically, you can go in and use advanced algorithms to generate your image. From here, you can continue to modify your geometry, add new shapes and complex animation to create a scene. Now that you know a little bit more about CGI, let's talk about the three major areas in which CGI has impacted our everyday lives. First, movies and movie special effects. Second, the medical field. And third, simulations. Things like car crash is simulations, or architecture design. First, the movie industry. Before, everything was created by hand, by real people. But now, everything can be created inside the computer with the help of CGI. This has impacted things like the possibilities of what can and can't be shot, or the budget. Because now, instead of having to create all these things in the physical world, they can be created in the, the computer world. And finally, actor safety. Before, actors had to carry out and film all the different dangerous stunts. But now, these stunts can be filmed in CGI. So, let me show you a few examples of these things. As you can see from this clip, the teapot isn't real. It has been placed in there using CGI. With the help of special camera tracking software, CGI images are able to be implanted in live footage. This allows movie companies to put special effects into their films. This also allows for cheaper budgets, 
better images, and more safety for actors and stuntmen. Second, let's talk about the medical field. Before, if a doctor wanted to look inside of a person without cutting them open, they had to use x-rays. These x-rays were developed on film, and if something were to happen to the film, then the whole x-ray would have to be taken all over again. Now, with the help of digital x-rays and MRI machines, all this information is stored on the computer. And with the help of CGI, this information can be displayed. The impact of this is more detailed pictures and even animation. This allows the doctor to get a better idea of what is going inside, going on inside, and it produces better diagnoses. With better diagnoses, the doctor is able to get patients better quicker. So let's take a couple. Let's take a look at a couple of examples of this. Third, simulations. Before, everything had to be created in the physical world. This cost a lot of money because everything had to be physically created. Also, the results of these simulations weren't easily determined. Also, some of the simulations were not able to be uh, produced because they either took too long, something like the evolution of a sun into a supernova, or were too quick, like electricity moving down a power line. But through the use of CGI, digital simulations are able to do all these different types. The impact of CGI with simulations are cheaper simulations because they do not require any physical elements. More information can be pulled from these simulations because all the different aspects of these simulations are inside the computer. And also, a wider variety of simulations can be produced for naturally and artificially occurring phenomena. Let's go show, let's go look at some examples of these. In conclusion, we have discussed the history of CGI, talked about a few key terms, and discussed a few key techniques for how CGI is developed, and also discussed the impacts that CGI has had on various fields. These fields include movies and movie special effects, the medical field, and various types of simulation. For future development of CGI, there are 3D displays, virtual reality, and augmented reality. Virtual reality is where our entire environment is replaced by CGI, where augmented reality is where CGI and physical realities are mixed. As evident by this presentation, the field of CGI has a promising future 
worth further research and development.